gelato print on demand tutorial hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how you can create print on demand products and start selling them and earning money right now so let's get into it first off you're going to hop on to gelato.com and now why i'm choosing gelato.com is because it does not require any approvals any kind of presets that you're going to have to meet before you can start selling you can just sign up right now and you can start selling your product so that's why we're going to get started on gelato you're just going to click on get started and you can create your gelato account using google facebook or you can sign up with your email i'm just going to continue with google so once you have done that you're going to be welcome to the basic gelato dashboard and you can see at the basic dashboard you have a bunch of options so first off they're going to ask if you already have an e-commerce store so maybe if you're using etsy if you're using shopify if you're using equid you can connect that store to here then you can add products to your store then you had company information your payment information and your orders so orders are basically the orders that you are going to place to your merchandise suppliers now after that you have your discount so uh, when you're creating your first ever product using gelato you're gonna get a 50 percent discount so that's a lot and you also get 30 percent off on your next two orders now after that you have your product catalog so over here you're gonna have every kind of uh, template or you know the designs that are available on uh, gelato so they have a lot of stuff they have apparel wall art mugs calendars cards photo books notebooks stationaries and tote bags so th there's there's a lot of options there's a lot of variety so you can just get started with whatever is your specific niche so maybe if you like to create t-shirts or if you like to create calendars custom calendars you can do that now after that you have your orders so any orders that you have placed are going to be shown over here the fulfillment status the delivery dates the payment status and all of that and detail is going to be present over here i think this is a very important tab to keep an eye on especially if you're running a very large business because uh, stuff can get lost and you know things can get confused so everything is going to be in one place it's going to be organized and that's going to help you out a lot below that you have your stores so you can as i said in the beginning you can link your shopify etsy equid squarespace whatever store that you might already have you can link that over here and after that you have your general analytics so the orders that you have placed the printing costs the sold products your production country and all of your data is going to be over here you can see there's going to be categorization by day by week by month you can have them uh, broken down based on the country that they are being printed in and so on and so forth below that you have your billing so your a resale certificates your currency your payment methods all of that billing detail is going to be present over there then you have your general settings as your user as your company so if you're running a, a business you know a small printing business you might have employees and you can add those over here then you have your general developer and support setting you don't really need to take a look at that so we're going to go back to our product catalog and we're going to actually decide to sell something. So what you're going to do is you're going to decide what kind of thing you want to sell. Um, let's say we want to sell a notebook. Now you can see there are two products available. You have a notebook matte cover or you have a notebook matte cover that's going to be fulfilled in US and Canada. So let's just say we're making a general notebook. And now you can see this notebook, the number of pages. You can customize all that. So let's say we want to deliver this in... We want to deliver this notebook to the United States and we're going to get a estimated delivery day. So it's going to take eight business day for our notebooks to arrive. Then you're going to select the size. So there are a few presets that you can select from. We're going to go with eight by 11. Then you're going to add the size in centimeters of the paper. So we're just going to do this. Then you're going to add the number of pages that you might like. So there are limits, obviously the maximum amount of pages can be 200 so let's just say we want 120 pages that's like a decent amount and then you're going to click on start designing now this is basically your blank canvas so you can start working on it and 
For designing, I would recommend you head on over to Canva, create your illustrations or designs on Canva, and then you're just going to upload them on Gelato because Gelato does not offer like a proper design platform. You can only add your like images and stuff onto Gelato. Because you can see over here, you have add text or add image. Then you have your files that you have uploaded. You can just add some text via gelato which is very you know dull and boring so i wouldn't recommend it i would recommend you use canva for that purpose then you have your layouts and your settings so you can change you know the layout of the images or whatnot using this tool now if you go on canva you're gonna select the size that you did so we did a 11 by 8 i think so we're gonna select inches we're gonna go 11 by 8 I think that was my size and I'm going to click on create new design and Canva is also free to use and it's a online designing and illustration platform so you don't have to download anything at all. So now you're going to have this empty canvas on Canva and you can start designing. So we were creating a notebook so we're just going to search for background. Now let's say we want to make it like a nice cute aesthetic type notebook so we're just going to add this little tie dye or blended background and we're just going to add this over here now we're going to add our text so obviously you have your basic you know boring text and below that you have these really creative texts that are provided by canva and i would I recommend that you select one of these and don't go for basic text because that's going to make your product look very boring and very you know outdated so you can have any of these text we're going to select this one it looks cute now we're going to add notebook we're going to change the color of our text so this text has like two colors one is the like front color and one is the base you know the shadow color so you can change that as well so we're going to make this like this light blue and we're going to resize it i'm going to place it at the center and just like that you're going to download this image and there is a lot more you can add on Canva. So, for example, if you just take a look at just search for illustrations and graphics and you're going to find so many good ones. You can see just over here, if we move to graphics, there are so many things you can add. So you can add these cute little characters, doctors, and you can add flowers. So you can see you can add, you know, all this cute stuff and you don't have to you know look for royalty free images on a separate website or anything like that you can just add everything using canva itself that is a very large reason that i recommend canva because it provides so many free illustrations and free designs so like that you can design even design it even further and make it even more creative and now you're going to head on over back to your gelato dashboard and you're going to click on add new add image you're going to import it from your device you can import it using other files or folders as well we're going to upload it now once our image is uploaded you can see we have 120 pages so depending on uh, where you want to place this obviously this is going to be the front page of our you know the cover page of our notebook so we're just gonna put it on the front page and this is something that you need to consider if you want to create lined pages you're also going to have to do do that on canva and i'm going to show you guys in a second how you're going to do that so i'm just waiting for this to be completely uploaded so i can paste it on my first page we're just going to get started on creating our lined pages so you're just going to create this same dimensions again and what you're going to do is you're going to click on elements, you're going to click on lines and shapes and you have this line, you can select that or you can just click on text, you can click on add subheading and then you're going to click on shift and the dash key and you're just going to type that in like that. And that is how you create like lined pages, you're going to have to add each individual line. So what you're going to do, is you're going to place it at the top and then you're just going to control C, control V, keep on copying it and placing it like that and that's how you're going to create your aligned pages now i would recommend that you do use canva for this as well and once you create one page so i don't like this in black i would recommend you create your lines in gray because lines are usually never this dark they're actually always gray almost 90 percent of the time they are i'm gonna move this like that make sure there aren't any gaps at the ends so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C, control V, place it below this initial line. And you can see there's like an overlap in their blue lines or purple lines. You're going to want that. You're going to 
just keep on copying it and placing it. Make sure you don't leave any gaps on the sides because that's gonna be so irritating when you're gonna have to fix that later on. And like that, you have created your lined page. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on duplicate page and you're gonna duplicate it as many times as your um, notebook is, or you can go on PDF merger and just create 10 pages over here. And then you're gonna download these 10 pages and then you're gonna go on PDF merger and then you're just gonna going to add these pages and uh, add these, you know, this PDF file five or eight times. And then you're gonna have 80 lined pages. So that's how you create your lined page. And going back to our notebook, you can see we've uploaded our illustration and I, I didn't take any good sizing. So I just messed up on the size a little bit. But that's all right. It's pretty fixable because Canva images are pretty high quality. Even if you do expand them and mess around with them quite a bit, they do not, you know, compromise on quality. They still look very good and very nice and pixelated. So once you have placed your image, you're just going to click on lock so it doesn't move anymore. It doesn't move too much. Now, once you have done that, you're just going to upload your lined pages over here. And then at the end, you're going to add your last, you know, ending cover, you know, and then you're going to click on add to order and you can see the quantity you want to order. So maybe you're, you want to order in bulk. You're going to click on that. And then you're also going to add your retail price. So maybe the retail price we're going for is 30 and then you're just going to get a discount and you're going to continue to your shipping. You're going to add all of your details. You're going to add your payment method. And that's it. That's how you create products on Gelato and start earning money. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.